In my last data validation video, I asked you to comment advanced if you wanted to learn more about data validation. Thank you so much for the amazing response. Today, as promised, I'm excited to share with you advanced data validation techniques in Excel with five different examples. We'll start with some simpler ones and work our way up to more complex examples. So, let's get started. But, before that, please hit that subscribe button and support my channel. I'm uploading new videos, including two-minute Excel trick videos, to help you master Excel quickly. Now, let's start our advanced data validation tricks. Imagine in our company we have a common roster to book meeting rooms for any employee, but we want all data to be entered perfectly. So, we will apply different validations for different parameters. We have these columns, employee name, who is booking the room, employee's email address, username, employee code, meeting date, and meeting room number. First, we will apply validation in the meeting date column to ensure that the date must be a weekday, Monday to Friday. This is important to prevent scheduling meetings on weekends when the office is closed. First, let's see which formula we will use for data validation. We will use the weekday formula, which returns the day of the week for a given date. So, here I'm writing this date. Now, in the cell, write is equal to weekday. Open parenthesis, select this date, comma, followed by 2. This specifies that Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, and so on. Close parenthesis and press Enter. The date we have entered is Tuesday, so it returns 2. If I change the date to Saturday, it returns 6. We will use this same formula in data validation. First, select the cells in meeting date column where you want to apply the validation. Let's say we're selecting 10 rows. Then go to Data, click on Data Validation. Select Custom from the Allowed drop down menu. In the Formula field, write is equal to Weekday. Open parenthesis, select this cell, comma, to close parenthesis. We want the result to be less than or equal to 5. Now press OK. Now, if you enter any date that falls between Monday and Friday, it will be accepted. However, dates that fall on Saturday or Sunday will not be accepted. Moving to our next validation, we want to avoid spaces while entering a username. Here's how we can set this up. Select the cells where the usernames will be entered. Go to the Data tab and click Data Validation. Click on Custom, Write Formula in Formula field. Is equal to, is error. Open parentheses, write Find. Open parentheses, in double quotes, write Space, comma, select Cell, and close parentheses. This formula checks if there is a space in the cell. If there is a space, the entry will be invalid. And press OK. Now, let's try entering a username with a space. Excel will not accept it because it violates the validation rule. If we remove the space and try again, the entry will be accepted. Let's move on to the next validation for email addresses. We want to ensure that the entered email address is valid. To check whether the address is valid or not, we need to ensure it has an at sign and a dot. First, let's see it here. We will write, match. Open parentheses, now in double quotes write, asterisk, question mark. At sign, question mark, asterisk, dot question mark, asterisk, again comma, select this cell, comma, then write zero. Now if I write this email address, it says one. But if I write text like this, it will generate an error. 
Now, we will write this formula for our data validation, select the cells, go to data validation, select custom and write formula in formula field. Now wrap this function with this number function and press OK. If you like this video so far, please leave a comment. This will boost our motivation and help more people discover these tips. Now, let's check whether our data validation is working. First, we will write a dummy email address like example at example.com. The entry is accepted because it meets the criteria. Next, if we write only example.com without that sign, it will not be accepted. Moving ahead, in this column, we want our employees to enter their employee code. Our employees have their employee code starting with TEE followed by four digits. Now, let me add one dummy employee code here, TEE1234. So, this code starts with T and ends with four digits. To check this, we need to validate three conditions. 1. Whether the length of the code is 7. 2. Whether it starts with T. 3. Whether it ends with four digits. First, we will check each condition separately, and then we will combine them and write into the data validation formula. First, whether the length of the code is 7. To check this, write is equal to len. Open parentheses, select this cell, close parentheses, and press enter. It gives us 7, but we want the answer in true or false. So write is equal to 7. And it gives us answer true. Let's check another condition, whether it starts with TEE. -E. To do this, right is equal to left. Open parentheses, select the cell, comma, right 3. This extracts the first three characters in the cell, which should be TEE. -E. As I said earlier, we want the answer in true or false. So we will write here, is equal to, in double quotes, TEE. -E. This will return true if the code starts with TEE. -E. Now, let's check the last condition, whether it ends with four digits. To check this, write is equal to value. Open parentheses, mid. Again open parentheses, select cell. 4, comma, 4 and close parentheses. And press enter. This extracts the last four characters and converts them into a number. To determine if these characters are indeed digits, wrap this function with this number. This will return true if the last four characters are digits. Now, let's combine all these conditions using the and function. And function ensures that all the conditions must be true. The combined formula will be like this. Now, let's try some other code, try entering TEE123. This does not meet the first condition of having 7 characters, so it shows false. Try entering TEA1234. This does not meet the second condition of starting with TEE, so it shows false. Now, select the cells where you want to apply the validation. Enter the formula in the formula box. Let's write an error message. Enter correct employee code. Press OK to apply the validation rule. This will ensure that only entries meeting all the specified conditions are accepted. Let's move to our fifth data validation trick. Suppose in our office there are three meeting rooms and we want to ensure that if one meeting room is booked for a specific day, it cannot be booked again for the same day. Select the cells, go to data validation, in formula field, write, is equal to, and function. Open parenthesis, count ifs. Again open parenthesis, select meeting date column. Comma, now select, first date cell. Again comma, select meeting room column. Comma, select room cell. Close parenthesis is equal to 1. This counts the occurrences of the specific date and room combination. 
now comma, right, or function. In bracket select cell is equal to 1, comma, again select cell is equal to 2, comma, select cell is equal to 3, close parenthesis, 2 times. This ensures the room number is either 1, 2, or 3. And press OK. Now, let's try to enter the same date and the same room number. It will not allow us to enter the data, ensuring that the room cannot be double booked for a specific date and that only room numbers 1, 2, or 3 are allowed. And this is how we can prevent double booking of the room and ensure only valid room numbers are entered. So, that's it for this video. These advanced data validation techniques will help you maintain the integrity of your data and ensure that entries follow your specified rules. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Excel tips and tricks.